What is going on, YouTube? Sci Guy 29 coming at you for episode 149 of Crafts and Cards. I hope all is well where you are. It's homecoming week here in Greene County, Iowa, and uh, hence the pink. Well, I, I look in pink anyway, but uh, no, today's dress up day. We have a dress up day for every day of the week for homecoming, and dress up day today was something that starts with the first letter of your first name. It was Scrabble. Our, our theme is game games rams got game so uh, another teacher on my team wore a pink dress she was barbie and i was ken i popped the collar and so hence the pink shirt so uh hope all is well where you are got the beautiful signs going got the organ music on and we're ready to roll so uh, episode 149 so i'd throw out some different things tonight uh with it being 149, we're almost to 150. I haven't decided how I'm going to do 150. Sorry about last week. Missed last week. Uh, things have been crazy, crazy, crazy with school, family, and just life in general. So, uh, got another beer I don't think I've ever had on the channel before. It's that time of year, and if you've watched the channel, you know I am a lover of Oktoberfest. And this is a 5.9 ABV coming all the way from Germany. This is the Vorsteiner Oktoberfest. And uh, it's a, you can see it's an 11.2 ounce can. That's what they are in Europe. They, they don't have the 12 ounce cans like we do. So we'll pour this. It's a nice, it's a really light Oktoberfest. Most Oktoberfests are a little darker than this. But uh, nonetheless, beautiful amber color there. Look at that. Oh, beauty, beauty, beauty. Cheers. So this came from, I got it at Costco, actually. So uh, <clears throat> just an easy drinking, great tailgate beer, um, crushable. Uh, it's a really smooth finish, um, kind of a sweet, sweet taste, and that's one of the things I like about the Marzins. So it's got a little sweetness to it. Um, some of those, some of the breweries out there really mess with with uh, Oktoberfest, but I don't know why. Vorsteiner is one of the older Oktoberfests in the world. So, all right, let's get to some cards. You can see I've got a couple of stacks here. And this is something I, I've not watched a ton of videos. I've not made a lot of videos in the last month. School, like I said, has been crazy and life is even crazier. So uh, it's just kind of been hit and miss. But some of these are, and oh, back to where I was. Um, some people have been talking about autographs. And uh, there was a podcast, I think it was uh, kind of this. Uh, I don't know which it might have been Baseball Collector Mike's podcast, uh, Golden Age of Cardboard. Um, I can't remember what they were. One of my listened to were talking about: Do autographs ruin the card? Should it be considered a marking if it's graded? And God, I never thought of that. Personally, I don't think so. Okay, I'm getting an autograph, and personally, I don't care what somebody else thinks. Uh, if it's a legit auto, which is a whole nother story for sure but uh, you know you can talk all you want about the graded and you know if I see it in person I know I know it is some of these I don't know if any of these are in person or not there are some TTM uh, there's a couple from the national uh, there's a couple that are pack pulled those type of things but uh, yeah let's just get it. I love autographs you know that Hall of Fame autographs one game guy autographs. I love them all. So let's get into this. And I'm going to start with this stack. We're going to start with this 2002 Upper Deck 40 man roster. David Ortiz. Big a poppy. Shout out to all you Reds. This is when he was a. Look at that guy. He looked great in a Twins uniform, didn't he? He didn't perform very well in a Twins uniform, though. Uh, here we have a. Tops, Andre Dawson, 
And for the life of me, I don't know what it's from. With the Cubs there. Here's one that I know I haven't shown. These next two for sure. I know there should be a third uh, new one in here that I'm not. I don't know where it went. But this is my first on card of Mr. George Brett. Shout out to Dave Blue Jacket 66. It's numbered out of 2000. This is 95 uh, Donner Signature Series. So I'm excited to have that. Needs to get into a one touch. Here's a SP, I think it's authentic, uh, Monty Irvin. Like where he signed it. It's a kind of a faint pen signature, but I think it still looks pretty good there. So I was excited to get that. Here we have one of the newer Hall of Fame members, Mr. Scott Rowan. Another SP. Uh, then this one, I don't I can't remember if I've showed this or not. But this is uh, a, a homemade, for lack of better terms, uh, card of Mr. Rick Farrell. Got the cut check down there. So I thought that was pretty cool for the price I paid. Take my chances. Uh, here's a Mr. Fergie Jenkins. Another Donruss example. Uh, here we have Mr. Duke Snyder. Joe DiMaggio. This is a playoff absolute memorabilia card. And for this one's from the Spectrum series, and it's numbered 40 of 100. There's the that one. Uh, here we have, we'll go these two in a row here. Yeah, we'll do these two in a row. Here's a Iconic Ink. I always think of Iconic Al when I see this card because of the color scheme. But it's Burt Blylevin as a pirate. Very, very uh, shiny. Shiny. For those of you that know what I'm talking about. There's the back. Follow that up with another Burt Blylevin. This one has him listed as the Minnesota Baseball Club. And this is from K-Force Panini Signature Series, numbered 10 out of 25. And what originally drew me to this card is I thought it was my cousin Dan Quisenberry on there with that big stash and just doesn't look a ton like Blylevin. I don't know. But this is numbered, like I said, 10 out of 25. I'm going to get another quick drink here. Here we have Mr. Andre Dawson in the Donruss Greats in a DCS grading slab. Not too worried about it with the authentication right there stamped on the front. Um, here's a Whitey Herzog on a 73 when he was the manager of the Texas Rangers. Uh, here we have a Bob Feller on an upper deck classics this is from 2005 if you've watched my channel I've mentioned it many many times before but he uh, Bob Feller was born and raised died for that matter about 45 minutes from where I live down by Des Moines a little town called Van Meter it's about 2,000 people and um, still have a great baseball tradition going today uh, here we have a this is one of my newer ones as well it's a 99 Paramount from Pacific of Tim Raines as an A. Uh, here's a my most recent TTM success, and I love how this turned out on this pink bordered Bill Mazeroski. The 65, I love the 65 set. It's a great picture. You got the chai in there, as he does in a lot of his his cards, but. Uh, that was about a 12 day turnaround uh, when I sent to him. This one's also a TTM uh, to Mr. Goose Gassage. Here is a white sock. 
It's another ten dollar. Both of these were ten dollar autos. Um, quick turnaround, great reliable signers. Uh, and I've tried to get as many plain day cards. Eventually, those will get slabbed up. I'm sure. Uh, I would love for SGC to go back to authenticating. I was going to take them uh, here in a couple weeks to Des Moines. Uh, Des Moines having their, I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's a big show in Des Moines at what's called Hy-Vee Hall at the convention center downtown uh, Des Moines. Uh, it's a three-day show, uh, the first Friday, Saturday, Sunday of October. Um, the full, full week after the first full week. What is it, the 6th, 7th, and 8th, I believe. Uh, they got some, uh, B.J. Armstrong, I know, is signing autographs. Brad Banks. Uh, Tony Muyaki. A bunch of Iowa players. I, they, they, they had Iowa State guys the first year, but haven't had them since. But I'm hoping to get down. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. Uh, I have to uh, help with our local football game up to high school that Friday night, Saturday. Uh, I've got a friend that's flying in from Arizona for the Iowa State TCU game. Sorry, baseball collector. Your frogs are going down. I don't know. Don't. I'm not planning on it because my Cyclones can't score a touchdown. It's crazy. Um, anyway, it. Uh, so Sunday would be my possibility. I'm hoping, but uh, with everything else going on, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. If I do, I'm going to hope to get some footage for everybody of that. If you are going to that, by the way, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I think there's like hundred some dealers. I know some from as far away as Ohio, uh, Colorado coming in. So look forward to that. Uh, here we have a Donruss Champions from 2005 of Mr. Burt Blylevin. It's kind of the Burt Blylevin show here. I like this. It's got the Twins logo. It's an in-person auto that I bought from someone. Uh, here we have uh, one of my more recent pickups, and it's numbered, holy cow, 79 out of 79. It's an immaculate from 2014 of Mr. Harold Baines. Big thick card. Kind of hard to see that, but there it is. Not a huge fan of his auto anyway. Oh, here it is. Here's the card I was looking for. And this was from on Com C, but came off of eBay. We'll get rid of this. Well, gee, many Christmas. How many different ways is this thing packaged? This is going to go into one touch right after this anyway, so not a huge deal. Um, but this is the Mike Schmidt uh, Significant Signatures. Is this a 2005, I believe, as well? It's also numbered out of 2000. My first Mike Schmidt on card, period. I think it's my first Mike Schmidt period uh, does not have the date there I'm pretty sure it's 2005 though but love this I've got uh, over on my shelf I've got three or four others from this set that I just really really enjoy uh, here's a card numbered 48 out of 59 and this is a Fleer Flare from 2005 of Mr. Steve Carlton. And last but not least is a Topps Chrome of Jim Rice, number 182 of 199. So thanks for hanging in. A little longer than usual. I got rambling on a couple topics uh, that were not necessarily card or craft related, but uh, appreciate you sticking in. Try to decide. There might not be an episode next week. We'll see. Try to get something set up for number 150. See how that goes. And uh, like the sign used to say, it's over there now. Collect what you love. Love what you collect. Cheers. <laughs>